What's up, everyone? This is Phoenix from Phoenix TV here with another episode of Birds Brain, the show that knows you're watching much like a three year old yesterday and doesn't think less of you. Hope you win your bets. This is episode 23 Overgrown Backyard Supply Store. Let's go. I am Cookie, and if you're like me, then I must kill you and absorb your power. Couldn't get anyone to join you, huh? Yeah, I know how you feel. And today's wrong answer of the game is being brought to you by... Overgrown Backyard Supply Store. Because rusted out old washing machines don't just buy themselves. Sniff out our sponsor's wrong answer of the game and you'll end up with a great prize and serious cash. Okay, what are we waiting for? Get ready to question. One. Okay, to get things started. Sorry for all the phallic imagery. You know, Sigmund Freud once okay. said, sometimes a cigar is just a cigar. And that's true, everything doesn't have to secretly, subconsciously be sexual. That said, which common cigar size would look like the smallest penis? Uh. Presidente, Corona, Churchill, or Gigante? Corona? Compared to these other monster cigars, the Corona is only a respectable five and a half to six inches. Yeah, President and Giant seem like they would be, you know, of, bigger. Of, uh, <laughs> I'm guessing that Churchill is a joke on He about was this. a heftier guy. Possibly. Oh, That's the logic I want to do. And it paid off, so there you go. Here's one I like to call Kangaroo, Peanut, Albert Einstein, or Uranus. Ah. A character in the game series Tekken, Kangaroo Peanut Albert Einstein, a boxing kangaroo named Roger, is a recurring character in the popular fighting game franchise Tekken. There's also a boxing raptor in the game, but I'm saving that fact for our Chevy Cavalier, Madame Curie, Potato, or Boxing Raptor series of questions. Huh. Dance with me, Disco 3! Take a good look at... Grimace. How could you best describe the romantic relationship going on with the Brothers Grimm? A bro-on-bro -bro bromance? A bro-on-bro-on-bro? -on -bro -on -bro? There were two Brothers Grimm, yeah. Jacob and Wilhelm. Legend has it that in his later years, Jacob Grimm fell under a terrible curse, but Wilhelm saved his life with a fist bump of true love. <laughs> Off to a good start. Let's try the either or conundrum. And A squared plus B squared equals a dis or dat. I'm going to read off seven items, and for each one, I want you to tell me if it's a famous mathematical theorem or the title of an episode of The Big Bang Theory. Oh, man, I've if never it's a the show. mathematical theorem, press the X button. If it's an episode of Lady Phoenix, The Big sister Bang Theory, would be really good at least, press the B at, button. At least okay, half Okay, let's this. move. Let's go. The Vengeance Formulation. The Parking Spot Escalation. The Four Color Problem. The Triangle Inequality The Egg Salad The Friendship Theorem The Hold Groin Experiment There's a Friendship a Theorem day. in Math? Hey, someone who knows their math really well. What I is like that? The Big Bang Tell theory. me in the comments. Finally, there's a show that treats me like an intellectual equal. Man, I cannot get this toast out of the toaster! Stupid fork! Get that toast out of there! Five Here's one for you. Nice to meet you, lady. Let's say Lady Gaga were on her way to another award ceremony, but this time sporting a kosher, kosher meat meat. suit. If she wanted to keep it kosher, what crazy mode of transportation should she not use? A giant egg wagon, a giant wheelbarrow uh, of flour, a giant little aquarium of syrup, or think. a giant motorized... This answer is worse than some of the songs on Art Pop. Dang. Watch how easy this is. Mixing meat and dairy is definitely against kosher law. 
Oh. But everything else Lady Gaga does is no totally religiously that. acceptable. Sorry, Dan. That about does it for round one. And you've got a pretty nice score. It's a shame there's nobody here to share it with. Don't forget, all the questions are on the oh, no, double. I'm sharing it with them. And they're remember, playing along and I'm getting all the answers, all the the answers still right, out there I'm sure. waiting to be picked. Let's get back to the action. Pucker up for. Ah! I had a bad stream! Which odd, super specific movie genre might Netflix use to categorize the film Eraserhead? Quirky dysfunctional families uh, set in the bomb shelter. Suspenseful clown movies inspired by true stories. Gritty industrial horror films featuring mutant babies. Or yeah. David Lynch's 1977 classic film Eraserhead is set in a nightmarish industrial town where the protagonist has a son that looks like a mutant. Cool. Netflix doesn't really have the gritty industrial horror films featuring mutant babies category yet, so I would just try looking for it under quirky romantic comedies. Question seven. Yeah, I'm fine about any movie under quirky. Open wide movies. for a grisly frankly, situation. Most of the movies on there can be described I'm as pretty romance excited if you're sick and enough. frankly a little scared that we're bringing a real live bear into the studio for this next question. Sorry, Cookie. Uh, the bear had to drop out at the last second, so you got me instead. One's made of skin, one's made of wood, so. Not me. We don't get the bear? Not you get me, Dirty O'Dryan, Dilly O'Dryan's sister, who looks a lot like Dilly in a wig. That is actually a set retursion who just looks... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we don't need to explain it again. Just ask the bear question, Betty. Okay. <laughs> Which kind of dare is the most common dare in the world? Uh... The taller dares? Black? I have the black bears. No? All right. I would be a brown bears. Correct Dang answer, it. show yourself. Brown bears, which Dang. grizzly bears are part of, are the most common and least endangered bears in the world. I suppose you want me to leave now. Does a bear sh in the woods? Yes, yes it does. I saw a bear sh in the woods when I was a little sapling. It was horrible. The sh strays everywhere and it gets stuck in their fur and there's bits of swirl and salmon in their sh Oh, and the smell. It smells like... The f is wrong with you? It was a rhetorical question. Get out! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. This Daddy. one's called... You never forget your first sniff. If Coco Chanel's first perfume had set a precedent for what the first of anything should be called, what would be true? Uh. January 1st would be January 3rd, Rocky would be Rocky 5, Pope Francis would be Pope Francis the 7th, or your first, Chanel number first five. fragrance sold by Coco Chanel back in 1921 was Chanel number 5. So the really? first Rocky movie would be called Rocky 5. That's... This numbering system was also used Why by the modern classic Mambo number 5. I'm a lot of concerned. But alright, I got mine. I won't complain about the points. Take a stab at. Is our children learning? I was watching a little Nick Jr. yesterday during my me time, and it seems like all their show titles are just nonsense words. Lala Loopsie? Team Umizumi? Because every word in its title is an actual word in the English language, which of these Nick Jr. shows might be the most oh, educational? Great. The Backyardigans, Words. Yo Gabba Gabba, Wow Wow Wubsy, or Bubble Guppies? <laughs> Bubble is a real word, yeah. obviously, and so is Guppies. Nick Jr. did it. They titled an entire show using actual English. <laughs> Of course, that can sometimes be misleading. I've tried to watch that Dora the Explorer before, and half the time it sounds like she's speaking a completely different language. Cookie. Here's a good one. Corn Blakes. 
Is Teddy what back? What might it sound like a Frosted Flakes mascot Tony the Tiger read the opening line of William Blake's famous poem, The Tiger? Tiger, tiger, burning bright! Tiger, tiger, proudly poised! Tiger, tiger, free and fast! Or, tiger, tiger, sugary sweet! Free and fast? I don't... Never. Ah! Were you Never thinking of this one? Poem? The first line of William Blake's The Tiger is Tiger, Tiger, Burning Bright. Or in Tony the Tiger speak, Burning Bright! It's not a terribly long poem, but it takes Tony the Tiger like seven hours to read it out loud. Jack Tack time. Once again, let him explain Brace how this part works if you've attack. never watched. When you see two clues that match, press your A button. 2,000 bucks if you're right, but you lose 2,000 if you're wrong, and of course, remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Exit stage, right. You left what TV show before it finished? Good luck. Uh, I don't have a clue who that is. So? Can it casually pass that along? Because it could be any of these four to me. Or five. Or six. I don't, I don't know. Well, I bet the I bet the office is Steve Carell, but Yeah, Steve Carell. He he did not make the last season of the office. Which I was one of the worst seasons of the office. Wrong club. He didn't make it to the community. Because he's too busy being childish for Vino. Catherine Heigl. Was she on one of those, like, OC things? I'm probably wrong, but if it comes up, that's what I'm going to go with. I'm getting the feeling it wasn't. Okay, I guess she left something else. I don't know who that is. Nope. Nope. Don't know what show he was on. So. Just sit back, relax, and wait. <laughs> I'm sorry, people. I, I don't know these TV things. Nope. And all of these are decent. It's not like they're like giving me obvious hints of what it might not be. These are all actual shows. So I have nothing to base any of this off. I don't know who you are. <sighs> there you have it! I've tried to leave my role the host of You Don't Know Chat, but can never actually do it on account of a curse that Gypsy put on me. This is my prison now. Oh. Alright, see you next time. You Don't Know Jack! An oddly introspective moment with Cookie Masterson there is put up a relatively kind of crappy score. My actual game played pretty well, but my Jack attack was way against me because I didn't know Two of those. I'm Kyle Everything Pepper. else was And ever just, since I was a little boy, no I wanted to be a professional baseball player. Well, oh, now I'm 36 so. and going anyway, nowhere Anyway, tune fast. in next week. So Hopefully they'll give me something Kyle in the Jack Tack I actually know. We only oh, and a uh, reminder. One, tell me what the friend, friendship there is. Even if you don't know, make it up. I'd like to hear what you guys have to say anyway. Fiend Phoenix TV, Earth Brain, You Don't Know Jack. Subscribe. Thanks for watching.